Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then welcome. So as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm finally sharing the big news that I've been keeping from you guys. And you probably already know what it is by the thumbnail as well. But me and my boyfriend bought our first house together. So I'm officially moved out of the house that I grew up in and we have our own place. I was so excited to share this news with you guys because I try to share with you guys as much as I can and this was definitely a big milestone for my boyfriend and I and I just had to share it with you guys so I finally have my own space hence the different background um, this is not where I'm going to be filming I'm still in the process of decorating and unpacking my beauty room so bear with me it might be a little bit before my next upload because I gotta finish my beauty room but the background will probably most likely look the same as it did at my house but just different space um, and maybe I'll do a beauty room tour at some point I'm not sure so in this video I'm also going to include some vlogs that I took throughout this whole process from putting an offer in on this house I think I, I think I vlogged that we'll have to find out um, to when we close and that sort of stuff and then I also did an empty house tour which I will include in today's video um, but so yeah, this is big news. I'm so excited it's finally out there. But so yeah, if you guys want to see the vlogs of this whole process and then also an empty house tour, then just keep on watching. I had every intention on filming this so much sooner, but I got super sidetracked and I just forgot. But to fill you guys in, my boyfriend and I have been looking at houses. Um, we started looking last year around, not really last year, technically January of this year. And we decided to stop looking just to save a little bit more money so we'd be a little bit more comfortable. Um, and we decided to start looking again this month. So we've been looking for the past month. And it's been super tricky to find a house that doesn't need a ton of work and um, something that's also big enough but not too small uh, but also not too big and houses have been just selling really really fast so even if we found a house that we liked it was like sold the next day because everyone's buying houses right now well yesterday no Sunday today is Tuesday the December 22nd of 2020 on Sunday we went and looked at two houses. The first house we really liked, but it needed a lot of updating. And the second house was perfect. Literally, like, from the colors of the wall to the floor to the way it was set up was perfect for us. It had plenty of land for Stella. Um, it had a chicken coop for our chickens. Like, it was literally perfect. So, we decided that this was our house and we're going to put an offer on it. And that same day after we left from looking at the house, it started snowing out. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but when my grandmother passed away, we had a huge snowstorm. So every time it snows, it usually snows when something like exciting happens or like I just I always think about my grandmother every time it snows and when we left that house it started snowing and I was like that is really really weird so it started snowing and we're like okay like this is probably the one like we love it like there was literally not one I the only thing we don't like about it is the driveway because it's on an incline but other than that the house is perfect so we put an offer in on it yesterday we also wrote a letter kind of just like saying like oh this would be the perfect house for us blah 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 all that jazz and we won't we weren't supposed to find out if they accepted our offer until today at five o'clock which is Tuesday and we put the offer in yesterday which was Monday um well two hours after they stopped taking offers they called us and said that they accepted our offer and that they loved our letter so they accepted our offer two hours after after like they stopped accepting offers we weren't supposed to find out if they accepted our offer until three hours from now or two hours from now it's currently three o'clock so we found out super early um now so yeah they accepted our offer on the house which we are super pumped but we're not getting hopes up yet because at this point anything can happen so on monday which i believe is the 28th um the home inspector is going to come in check and make sure everything's good and hopefully everything goes okay and we'll go from there but I'm super excited and I'm trying not to get too excited because literally anything can happen like anything can happen but this house is literally perfect okay so just a little bit of an update don't mind my dark circles I am so tired but the home inspection was last Monday I forgot to film and say that everything went pretty good there was a few things that needed to be fixed up 
but the seller is going to take care of all of that, which we are so thankful for. Um, so everything's going pretty well. So far, the closing date, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but the closing date is the 28th of this month, and it's currently the 8th. So we still have about 20 more days, but with the speed that everything is going in right now, it could be sooner than that, which I hope that's the case because I am so ready to have my own house. But we will see. Um, so that's that. And then we already pretty much went furniture shopping. We have our new mattress. We have our new uh, bed frame. We have our nightstands. We have our dresser. Um, we have our couch. We have our dining room table. Like, we pretty much have everything. We're set to go. The only things I need to pick up are, like, decor. But that I'm going to do once we get into there. Because it's kind of hard to decorate a house when you're not officially living in it yet. So that's that. I did pick up some decor, of course, that I loved. But... I want to do more shopping once we actually move in. I started packing, so I have a bunch of boxes in my seating area of my house, just like a random room. Um, I have a bunch of boxes in there right now, and I just can't wait for this experience and to like have my own house. It's going to be a lot of work, but it's going to be so worth it. My dog Stella gets to have her freedom, run around the backyard, and just be out of her crate and just have a grand all time. And then... Uh, I don't know. I'm just very excited. Hopefully I'll lose some weight because I'll actually be able to cook food. <laughs> but so yeah, that's the update as far as right now. <sighs> but we'll see. I think today we'll kind of figure out whether or not the closing date might move to sooner or not. So far it's about like two weeks away. Two weeks. It's almost three weeks away. So it feels like it's so far and I feel like this month is going by so slow. But... I'm so excited and I'm so happy we were able to get all the furniture. It's all going to be delivered to my house that I live in right now um, next week. So yeah, that's a little bit of an update. I've been really bad at updating because it's just been like so much. I've just been forgetting to like pick up my phone and start recording. But hopefully once I find out the closing date, I will go ahead and grab my phone and be like, Oh my god, closing date is this day. I'll take you guys along with me that day. So on and so forth. So sorry I've been really bad at updating. But... This whole process is a lot, but it's so exciting at the same time. Okay, don't mind me. I just got done filming, hence why I have all this makeup on. But if the camera quality looks a little bit different... Ooh, the highlight, though. Anyways, if the camera quality looks a little bit different, I got a new phone, so... I don't know if it's going to be good or bad. But I was sitting there filming, and I just realized that I forgot to film, like, an update. So, yesterday, we found out that the closing date is going to be moved to sooner. So, instead of Friday, it's going to be Tuesday. So, Tuesday at 11 is the closing date, and today is Thursday. So, we have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, five days. I've barely packed. I have not packed any of my rooms because I wanted to, like, film one more time before I packed everything. But see, yeah, that's the update. Closing date is Tuesday at 11, and then the house is officially ours. And I miss my beauty room. I was going to say this is where it all started, but it's not. My bedroom is where it all started, but I'm definitely going to miss it. It's like a bittersweet moment, you know? Okay, my hair is looking kind of poofy because I had it in braids last night, and it, I don't really like it, so I'll try to ignore that. But... Today was closing date, and we closed at 11, or we went to go sign paperwork at 11, and then um, we waited to get a call from our realtor to get a pin for the house. So we got the pin for our house. I hate my hair right now. Um, so we got the pin for our house, and we are headed there now. As you can see, I have a bunch of boxes. My boyfriend's in front of me with a bunch of boxes, obviously, and then my mom's behind me with a bunch of boxes as well. Um, so we're headed to the house now. I am so excited because now we're going to walk into our house and walk into this house and it's going to be ours and not some random person. Hopefully you can hear me okay. My car is like kind of loud when I drive. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited because it's like officially ours now and I'm so pumped. I can't wait to like just clean everything, get everything unpacked and that sort of stuff. So we're going to make a few trips today because I still have more stuff at my house. But so here's sort of an empty house tour. It's a mess right now. Don't mind that. We've already started moving everything in, obviously. Um, we slept there last night because we're still waiting for our mattress to come in. Um, so it's in the living room right now just because we have so much stuff in the master bedroom, anywho. Um, so this is what it looks like. This is the living room. 
Over there is the kitchen, and then right there is the washer and dryer. Hello, Stella. Hello. And then right here we have a decent sized closet. And then this is the guest bathroom. Matt put up the shower curtain last night. And it looks so cute. I love it. So this is the guest bathroom. Nothing too exciting. And then over here is kind of like Stella's room. So her crate and then some of her other stuff will be in here as well. It's the smallest room in the house. So we're just kind of filling it up with like Stella's stuff because might as well. And then over here is my beauty room which is actually the same size as the beauty room I have now, but I'm gonna make it more spacious because I'm actually gonna be putting my makeup in the closet. So there will be less stuff, less stuff out on like the main floor. And then this is the uh, master bedroom. And then this is the closet on my PJ, so I'm not gonna show you me. But, um, so yeah, that's the master bedroom. And then this is the master bathroom it needs a little bit of work and it's kind of small we're gonna end up renovating it at some point um in the future but for right now this is good we'll definitely renovate some stuff as we go hello stella and then going back over here i'll show you a little bit more of the kitchen so this is a kitchen pretty decent size we got plenty of cabinet space and i already started doing that tiktok thing where they do the detergent Oh, which, oh, okay, I thought it leaked, but it's just a sticker. Um, where you do, like, the laundry detergent and softener and the scent beads and, like, those jars. I already did that, and that's my Taco Bell drink from last night. <laughs> and this is a fridge, and then Matt already started putting his clothes in the wash. This is the wash, and then down here is the basement, which is scary, so I'm not going to show you that. <laughs> But so yeah guys, that completes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm so happy the news is finally out there and I was able to share it with you all. I didn't want to share too much information in the beginning because I wanted it to be official. Um, and now it is, we're moved in, almost unpacked. And I just can't wait to share this journey with you guys. I want to be able to look back on this video and just be like, oh my god, that was our first house. And just, you know, always have this video forever to look back on and see where we started. And of course, share with you guys as much as I can. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to let me know in the comments down below and give this video a big thumbs up. And also, if you're new to my channel, be sure to click the subscribe button down below and turn on the notification bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!